Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some romance books with amazing fall vibes. Fall is upon us now. I love when September hits because that's the start of fall. It's like my favorite season. I freaking love it so much. So here are 10 romances that definitely give me fall vibes make sure also to leave your recommendations below because i'm always looking for more like i don't know any more besides these so i want to read more fall vibe romances in the fall so please leave them below if they're not already mentioned on this list first one that i have is a better hate than never by chloe lisa this is our second book in um what's oh the wilmot sister series sorry i forgot the series title for a second um but look at this stunning cover even just the cover gives the ultimate fall vibes. The Wilmot Sister series is actually like a whole series of retellings of Shakespeare plays. So this one is a retelling of The Taming of the Shrew. These two actually grew up as like best friends and neighbors, but nowadays they can't even stand to be in the same room as each other. And the hero realizes the only reason the heroine hates him is because she's adamant that he hates her. And so he's trying to tame her, if you will, be nicer, show her that he actually does care for her as a person and maybe even loves her so i love this one i adore it you can read this one as a standalone if you want to i do recommend reading them in order but um yeah it's a great great romance with the ultimate fall vibes if you want more of like a southern small town i have a rain me in by kayla gross this is the first book in her cowboy cowboys of a nighthawk series blake is our heroine and she is back in her small town after a long break away from it she does not live there she has decided to come visit for a little bit though because her mom i believe got injured somehow and can't really help around the ranch and so she's like okay i'll come stay with y'all for a little while and help one of her first nights back her dad convinces her to go with him to the bar in town and there she bumps into gavin who was her brother's best friend her brother has passed she's experienced a lot of ptsd and trauma with the passing of her brother because she was there with him but gavin has always had a huge crush on blake she is older than him and was his best friend's older sister so like he's like she was always forbidden but now she's back in town he's like okay i think i can shoot my shot possibly so he tries and he, he fails a few times um this one is really sweet and really cute and like the ranch country setting definitely gave me those cozy fall vibes another amazing fall cover look at dukes and deeks by tori jean look at this one it is stunning i remember this book did come out around fall time last year so it was perfect and also the spine look at the spine it's so beautiful okay so this one's actually friends to lovers romance the hero is a very popular hockey player and the heroine runs this jane austen festival in town it's coming up and her lydia and wickham characters like there are Jane Austen characters, like actors who play them like throughout the um, festival. And both people who play like Lydia and Wickham um, actually eloped together and like ran away. <laughs> so um, she's like, okay, I need a Wickham. I'll play Lydia, I need a Wickham. And so her best friend steps in and is like, okay, I'll play your Wickham. They've actually been like pining after each other for years, but don't want to like ruin their friendship. So they've never said anything. And through them pretending to be these characters like very much in love, they realize that like maybe I cannot hold in my feelings any longer. <laughs> the fall vibes in this book, immaculate. Um, also because of like the setting, the time I believe it's set during fall, but also the Jane Austen festival adds like like the cherry on top, I wanna say. Next, I would say Flawless by Elsie Silver gives me fall vibes. I don't remember if it does take place in fall necessarily, but it's kind of like Rain Me In or like those small town cozy-esque vibes are in this book, even though it is about a bull rider. Rhett is our hero. He is a professional bull rider and he's kind of um, in trouble with the media right now. He did not do well recently with one of his sponsors. And so his manager has kind of like sicked his um, daughter to be his on him to be his PR babysitter essentially so she is going to go with him to his small town to his family ranch and make sure he does not get into any trouble with the media basically be his babysitter keep him on a leash but I loved the ranch setting again I feel like a ranch setting is very much like fall S. Out in a Limb by Hannah Bonham Young literally starts out at a Halloween party. This book does span the length of, I believe, like a whole year, but the beginning part does take place in fall. They meet at a Halloween party and they're both dressed up as pirates and it is absolutely iconic. Anyway, these two have a one night stand at that Halloween party and um, when the heroine gets pregnant. Bo was obviously not expecting this. He is our hero, but he is going to dive headfirst into providing for Wynn and 
providing her with an amazing home and like making her feel as safe and comfortable as possible. He actually never thought that he would have kids, he could have kids, so he is absolutely excited, but they're not going to take their relationship into the romantic part at all or into the physical realm again because they don't want to ruin their relationship um because like what if things go poorly and they have this kid between them now like they don't want anything bad to happen this has amazing disability representation i absolutely love it so much but i love like the beginning of it because the beginning of it is fall for sure funny feelings by terry dewitt is my next one this one does give fall vibes based on the cover she's kind of wearing like those essential like fall little booties and like the fall-esque flowers so I can see it. Farley is our heroine. She is actually a stand-up comedian and this is her romance with her manager, coach? Meyer essentially helps her with like her sets and stuff like that. He is a single father and they're like best friends. He is a little older than her and he's not really in the comedian scene anymore um, ever since his daughter was born, but he has no problem coaching Farley and helping her. Farley is then given this amazing opportunity to go on tour with some amazing comedians and they kind of want to boost up her image in the media. And so they're like, why not like say you're dating this notoriously known comedian who is Meyer. He used to be like so famous. And so they actually fake date for the media to kind of get her name out there more. And through that fake dating, they obviously figure out that they're in love with each other like many fake dating romances but I love this one it has amazing disability representation the hero's daughter is deaf and there is sign language like all throughout this book for a historical romance I have the autumn bride by Anne Gracie this one the cover and the title kind of like say it all it takes place in fall this book starts out with our heroine rescuing her sister and two other women from a brothel they were kidnapped like they were kidnapped and forced into this brothel. She ends up saving her sister and two other girls there. And they kind of become like a family unit after that point. And they promise that they're gonna be for, there for each other no matter what. So each book in the series is about one of those women. I'm waiting on Libby to have the other books in the series. Like I want them so stinking bad. <laughs> they're not available yet on my Libby and I want them so bad. I've only read book number one because <laughs> each one is about a different season. These women have decided to get jobs and raise money to like, have enough savings to go move to Bath to go to a different city and have a life all alone, all four of them together. Then one night her sister gets really sick and they do not have enough money to go to the doctor um, and she is afraid her sister is going to die. So she does the unthinkable. She never thought she'd do this, but she jumps to from her window to like a neighboring, like the neighboring complex and sneaks into this old woman's window and is set on stealing something even though she is like so embarrassed that she has to do this, but she's not going to let her sister die. But when she goes into the room, the old woman that's there is like on her own deathbed. The people taking care of her aren't doing a good job at it at all. They're basically killing her by leaving her alone in this bed with like awful food, have taken all of her clothes and jewelry and everything around her out of the room. The heroine has decided, you know what? We're gonna help save you. And they pretend to be this woman's nieces, take care of her, bring her back to health and kick out all the staff that were there treating her poorly. The old woman's actual nephew hears wind of these long lost nieces coming to take care of his aunt. And he's like, I don't have any cousins. Like she doesn't have any nieces, what is going on? When he first meets the heroine, he's like, oh my gosh, you are trying to take money from my aunt. Like, no, this is not happening. But little does he know. She is the reason why she's alive. <laughs> and it's their romance. They don't really get off on the right foot because of his feelings towards her and what he thinks she's up to, so. My last three books are more in like the paranormal sphere because I do feel like fall is like the perfect time to read like a good paranormal romance book. So first is Wolf Song by TJ Klune. This one is like, I feel like the epitome of an amazing, like swoon worthy, cozy, paranormal romance to read during the fall season. This book starts out with one of our heroes, Ox, who is like the older one of the two. He's a human and he is walking home from work or school. Can't remember which one. Anyway, he's walking home one day and he bumps into this like 10 year old boy named Joe and he just will not stop yapping his ear off, like just talking and talking and talking and talking to him and ends up bringing Ox back home with him to meet his family who just recently moved in in the neighborhood. And his family are amazing. And little does he know that like Joe has not speaked in years till the moment he saw Ox. And Ox soon realizes also that this whole family are a family of werewolves. I love this one so much. It's a romance by the way between Ox and Joe when they get 
older, obviously. But it's so stinking good. I love these. If you want like a good paranormal romance series to read during the fall season, I have to recommend this one. A Hunger Like No Other by Cressley Cole so stinking good it's so good i know some people are like put off by this cover there are new covers but like i think this one's absolutely iconic so that's why i love it our heroine is half vampire half valkyrie our hero is a like which is basically kind of like a werewolf and he has been kidnapped by vampires underground for years or hundreds of years i don't know years years and through the sewers basically he can sense and like smell things above him even though he's like chained up he's so weak and so distraught about his situation obviously he's been there for so long but then he ends up scenting his faded mate above him and he's like oh heck no i'm not gonna let this woman whoever she is get away from me like that is my faded mate and he basically i think like breaks his own leg in order to get out of these chains that's how much he wants her and he goes up to the surface and when he finally catches his fate he's able to smell her down basically he is so angry because she's half vampire and vampires have tortured him for years and um he basically kidnaps her and puts her in like a hotel room with him and he's like waning whether or not like can this woman be my fated mate is fate so cruel like what is going on um but yeah it's so good i love this one so much this whole series is perfect to read during the fall season. And the last one that I have is, of course, Dark Lover by Miss J.R. Ward, the first book in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. This is a whole series about an underground secret society of vampires that live in our world, um, but no humans know about them. This one starts out with Beth and Wrath. Wrath is the king of all the vampires. He has not taken up that title yet. He doesn't feel like he is ready to. This starts out with one of his friends um, approaching him, telling him, hey, I actually have a daughter. She doesn't know that I'm her father. She was getting up for adoption a long time ago, but I've been keeping my eye on her and I know she's going to go through the change soon. And if she feeds off of your blood, she will have a more successful chance to survive the change. So basically vampires, and J.R. Ward's world, um, they don't feed off of humans. They feed off of the opposite sex's vampire blood. Vampires are not created, they are born, and you go through like the change at a certain age. At first, the hero denies his friend Darius and is like, uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. Why would I do that? Uh, but then Darius ends up dying and he's like, crap, my best friend is dead. Like, I need to make sure his daughter is safe. The first night that they're together is absolutely electric. They are so hot. The heroine has no idea what is going on, doesn't know about vampires, and she's thrust into this world she had no idea existed. But Wrath cannot like help but be intrigued by her, attracted to her, enthralled by her at some point. So yeah, it's so good. I love this whole series. Again, I'm not caught up with this series though. I'm caught up with this one. I'm not caught up with this one yet um, because there are so many so many books. <laughs> Anyways, there you have which Those are 10 romances that give me fall vibes. Let me know down below if you read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any fall leaf emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.